Welcome to Design World's How to Calculate series, where you learn how to apply the most important equations for sizing, selecting, and comparing linear motion and motion control products. In this session, sponsored by Electrocraft, we'll learn how to calculate the temperature of a motor under load. One of the most important operating parameters for electric motors is the temperature of the motor windings. Motor heating is caused by mechanical, electrical, and copper losses, as well as heat transferred to the motor from external sources, including the ambient temperature and surrounding equipment. If the temperature of the motor winding surpasses the maximum rated temperature, the windings could be damaged or the motor insulation could break down or completely fail. To address the potential for failure of the insulation due to heat, the NEMA MG1 standard establishes four classes of motor insulation, which define the insulation system's ability to endure a specified temperature while providing a specific operating life. The NEMA insulation classes specify the maximum allowable temperature of the motor winding insulation under continuous operation that will provide a life of 20,000 hours. The maximum allowable temperature assumes an ambient temperature of 40 degrees C and adds to that an allowable temperature rise plus an additional amount, often referred to as the thermal margin, to allow for hot spots within the windings. In addition to a maximum ambient temperature of 40 C, the insulation class ratings also assume a service factor of 1.0 and an altitude of 3,300 feet above sea level, beyond which the thinner air has a reduced cooling capacity. However, adjustment tables and calculations are available to determine the reduced maximum operating temperature for conditions outside of those specified by the insulation class. Temperature rise is calculated based on the change in resistance of the windings with a correction for any change in ambient temperature between the start and the end of the test. The NEMA insulation classes currently in use are A, B, F, and H, although newer motors are rarely built with Class A insulation, which has a maximum winding temperature of 105 degrees C. The maximum winding temperature increases by 25 degrees C with each step up in insulation class. Although the NEMA insulation classes are widely recognized in North America, the IEC 60034-1 standard is often used for motors made or sold outside of North America. The IEC ratings align with the NEMA ratings for classes A, B, F, and H, but the IEC standard adds an additional rating of class E. Recently, motor manufacturers have begun specifying both the insulation class and the allowable temperature rise with a rating such as F slash B. The first letter indicates the insulation class and the second letter indicates the allowable temperature rise. In this case, the maximum winding temperature is 155 degrees C per insulation class F and the allowable temperature rise is 80 degrees C for insulation class B. Adding 80 degrees C to the ambient temperature of 40 degrees C plus the 10 degrees C hotspot margin of insulation class F gives a maximum temperature of 130 degrees C rather than the 155 degrees C of a typical insulation class F motor. This means that the F slash B motor has an additional 25 degrees C safety margin which can provide significantly longer insulation life and therefore motor life. The maximum temperature specified by the insulation class will provide an insulation life of 20,000 hours with the motor operating at full load. According to the Arrhenius equation, which explains that chemical reactions occur more rapidly at higher temperatures, for every 10 degrees C that the maximum temperature is exceeded, the insulation life will be reduced by 50%. Conversely, for every 10 degrees C that the motor is operated below the maximum temperature, the insulation life will be doubled. For more information on motors, gear motors, and other motion control topics, visit motioncontroltips.com or designworldonline.com. Thanks for watching.